Hi guys, so the next video I've been meaning to make for you, um, I've had the pictures for a while, is some of the food that I've been making, and you've seen me make some of it in some of my videos, and the rest of it is stuff I've made, um, like, previously, and I'm sorry if you can hear that idiot who's blasting their music. Um, so, I thought I would share some of these pictures with you. And I have them on iMovie right now to look at, so if I, if you hear me click, I apologize, but maybe you might like that. Um, so, in the last few weeks, I've made all kinds of stuff, and one thing, um, from these recipes that my boyfriend got, um, that help you plan, like, your weekly meals or whatever, we made, I forget exactly what it's called, but it was basically like a bit of ragu sauce with meat and there's like sausage and tomatoes and carrots and onion and it was really really good so we made that and to go with it I grilled these eggplants so I cut them in half they had I think a balsamic vinegar oregano salt and pepper and I cooked them in the um, oven so they look like this when they came out, and then you drizzle them with the balsamic. So we made the ragu sauce and the, the roasted eggplant, and root, I think those are rotini noodles, but you can use, it really called for penne, but we didn't have penne. So then at the very end, you drizzle them with the balsamic, and they were really, really good. So that was one night. We also, um, for breakfast sometimes, if I'm here at my boyfriend's house, um, I usually make breakfast because he works every day. And this day he had um, those hash browns that you can get at the store. I think they're just in the refrigerated <clears throat> section, but um, I made him the hash browns, and that's a little basil from our herb pot thing and then instead of sour cream lately what I've been using is the Cabot's thick plain Greek yogurt that stuff's so good I could just eat it by itself all day it's like more sour and thicker than sour cream so I think I mixed um, a little salt and pepper and some chives from the outside spice pot thing <clears throat> Sorry, guys, if my voice is all scratchy. I just made two other videos. Um, okay, so we had that one morning. That was really good. Then, this stuff is awesome. I made, like, fish tacos. Um, we had friends come over one night, so... I made my specialty coleslaw. Um, and then we had the shrimp, which I followed from a recipe. A mint, like a mango salsa shredded Napa cabbage, the Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, peppers, and then um, my boyfriend likes corn tortillas. I don't, I like the flour tortillas, but I think we use corn. So here are the shrimp. Um, I know there was like, I think it was paprika, and I used chili powder in about everything, so I added chili powder. Um, there might be garlic powder and some other stuff in there, but you just marinate them for really briefly and then mix it all up and then grill them. They, they taste so good. Um, so we start, I started that with the coleslaw, which is, I don't even measure anymore when I make coleslaw, but I don't really like really mayonnaise -y coleslaw. I, I just think mayonnaise is kind of gross. Um, but I can eat it on like chicken sandwiches or in coleslaw, which is weird. So I already had some shredded carrots that I got at the store that were left over from some other stuff. And I um, made that and then, or made that, I put those in the bowl. And then I chopped up what was left of my cabbage. And I like long, thin strips and sometimes I'll chop them halfway 
And I think I added a little Napa cabbage to it. Um, I tend to use kind of spicy things, so I put, there's some chili powder, a little coriander, a little cumin, which sounds nasty, but it actually tastes really good. Um, you add sugar, mayonnaise, and vinegar, pretty much just to taste. Some people like sweeter coleslaw, some people like more sour coleslaw. I like it kind of in the middle. Um, add a little bit of parsley. Um, what else? I think I use a little onion powder. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. It's really simple. And people always like it. And it's really crunchy and refreshing. So then we serve that with, um, with shredded Napa cabbage and the peppers and the mango salsa. And the mango salsa had like two kinds, I think it had red tomatoes and mango, red onion, um, jalapeno, I think, was in it, and it was just so good, and then you roll it all up in the taco, and you top it, and it was delicious. I also made, that week, the, um, those Asian noodles with the mango and the cabbage, which I showed in another video if you're interested in that, but I don't have that picture. Um, and then the last thing is, we had friends coming over at some time recently, and I made, again, that I, I made this in another video, I just, it's regular store-bought pasta shells with the cheese sauce that you squeeze, so I make that macaroni, and then I like to add fresh, um, chopped up jalapeno, really finely minced, and it just adds such an awesome, awesome taste to the macaroni, you just add it when it's hot, so we serve that, and, um, grilled chicken, my mom's recipe for the marinade, which I used, and, my friends brought frozen hamburgers, which we cooked. Um, and then we had a salad I made. A salad I made and some of the Bolt House dressings, which are really good. Then sliced avocado, tomato, um, cheese, onion, stuff like that to go on the burgers. And that was really good. So... I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing some of the things I make. I do generally cook every night, um, except when I visit my parents. And sometimes, like, during the school year or when I'm doing the stuff that I'm supposed to do for school that keeps me out of school, um, I don't have as much time. But I do cook pretty much every day something. Um, maybe not a big meal, but I do cook. And I just tend to find it, like, relaxing and, um, kind of therapeutic. It sounds kind of sick to say that when I'm holding a big knife, it's relaxing. But really, it is when I'm chopping things. I'm, like, not focused on anything else except not cutting myself. So, it kind of <laughs> relaxes my mind. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you like my other videos, um... I make, I'm not sure which of these things, some of these things I make in the other videos if you're interested. Um, and if you have any food requests, let me know. And I hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you soon.